The Chicago Bulls are in win now mode. They traded for, of course, Nikola Vucevic at the trade deadline last year. They gave up a couple first round picks and Wendell Carter Jr. And now they have acquired DeMar DeRozan via sign and trade to add to a team that now has Lonzo Ball, Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, Patrick Williams, and Nikola Vucevic as their starting lineup. They will have Kobe White and Alex Caruso off the bench. This is a very, very strong team and has to be one of the teams that will make one of the biggest moves up of the Eastern Conference standings next season. The full details are, DeMar DeRozan will sign a three-year, $85 million contract with the Chicago Bulls, with the Spurs getting Thaddeus Young, Al Farouk Aminu, a 2025 first-round pick, as well as a 2022 and 2025 first-round pick. Now, it is worth noting that Chicago have now traded away their 2021, 23, and 25 first-round picks, so the next pick they can trade away is not until 2027, and they only own their 2022 and 2024 first-round picks for the next four years. So the Chicago Bulls have committed here. They have gone all-in to winning, to trying to push for a title, and this is still while Zach Levine is not extended past this upcoming season. Now, there has been significant interest between both sides to extend, and if Chicago do offer him the max, then he will most likely return. But nonetheless, it is still worth considering. And so let's just talk about the Chicago Bulls team for a minute, what the Martyr Rosen can do for this team, and how I think they will fare next season. I will talk more in depth about Chicago and how I think they're going to do next year in another video, but let's just talk about it briefly here as we're talking about the DeMar DeRozan signing. So DeMar DeRozan obviously brings in another very good bucket getter for this team, someone who can be a bit of a playmaker as well, as that's something he's drastically improved at over the last couple of years. So whether he or Zach Levine becomes the main on-ball guy remains to be seen. It probably will still be Zach Levine due to, I think, the fact that I think he is a bit of a better scorer at this point in time in his career. And he just is that guy in Chicago already. But DeMar DeRozan will have a fair bit of ball handling duties as well. As he is a better playmaker than Zach Levine as far as I'm concerned. Lonzo Ball, as much as he is the point guard, is going to play off the ball a lot. He's also going to be a very good playmaker for them. So they have a nice bit of playmaking and ball handling options on this team now. Guys who can get their own bucket. And Lonzo is going to play off the ball a lot. Given that he is a much better three-point shooter catch and shoot guy than DeRozan is of course. And so they have improved their mid-range scoring and ISO scoring drastically. And DeRozan, DeRozan is a, you need a bucket, I'm going to go get it it's in the mid-range type of guy. He's one of the best mid-range shooters in the history of the NBA. He just does not get the credit for it because he's only ever played in small markets. But now hopefully in Chicago on a better team in a bigger market, people will truly realize the greatness of the mid-range of DeMar DeRozan. Now I don't think this team is an NBA title contender. I'm going to be completely honest. I think they're pretty much one of the best teams below it. I think they're probably the fifth or the sixth seed in the Eastern Conference and pretty comfortably in there. But I think they're a step below the Bucs. They're a step below the Knicks. They're a step below the 76ers, if depending on what trades they make. And I think they're probably a step below the Heat as well. But I think they're right in there alongside them. I think they're right in there. I think you could argue that they are better than the 76ers, that they are better than the Heat, but I don't consider the 76ers of the Heat real threats to win a title either, if I'm being completely honest. I think they're a step below the teams like the Nets and the Bucs, and I don't think the Bulls are right at that level. They don't have that superstar level talent, and I also do have some concerns on their defensive end still, as Zach Levine and Marta Rosen are not great defenders, and, Zach, and Nikola Vucevic is not a terrible defender at center spot, but he definitely isn't an elite rim protector by any stretch that you would like to have for a championship contending team. Of course, the Nets don't really have that either, but the Nets have freakishly skilled offensive exception to that. With that being said, I still think the Chicago Bulls are gonna be a very good team next year. I'm gonna be watching a lot more Chicago Bulls basketball than I was last year. I think this is gonna be a very fun and exciting team to watch. A lot of offensive explosion, getting up and down the court, I think is something this team should focus on. They have Lonzo Ball, who is one of the best Point guards in the fast break, Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, Patrick Williams, you can all run the floor. I think this is going to be a very good season for the Chicago Bulls. The best season we've seen from the Chicago Bulls in the last five or six years, no doubt. With that being said, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section on this acquisition for the Chicago Bulls and how you think they will do next season. If you want to hear my thoughts on other free agency signings, then be sure to hit the box on the right-hand side of the screen. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, hit that red button down below or hit my profile picture in the middle of your screen to hear my thoughts on all NBA news, and then NBA thoughts on the season once we get into the season a couple of months down the road. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.